So you just bought a plugin from Waze and you don't know how to install it. It's cool. So what do you do? You watch this video. That's what you do. And I've been seeing like a lot of people having problems with this. So this is what you're going to do. Like in the email that you get, you'll have your plugin, the serial number, and a link to the new Waze Central that has like the update or whatever like this. So like you can go to go to Waze, go to downloads, download a new Waze Central for a Mac if you got a Mac, Windows if you got a Windows. Cool. Download that, install it, boom, run it. So after you run it, okay, then you open it. You should get this screen right here. If you don't get this screen necessarily, log in with your um. Ways ID and your password, boom, log in. Then you come to the screen, you got easy install and activate, install products and manage license. I never choose the first one, I always choose the one in the middle. So we'll click the one in the middle, boom. All right, so over here we have number one, we have two, we have three. On one, you have online, then you have select offline installer. I always click on online, boom. You click on online, it gives you the plugins right here. I think I got these here because I still need to update these shits. But that's another day. So let's say, let's say I took that off. All right, so I got the plugins on here. Boom, on. You can click offline, nothing on there. Oops. All right, so install from online since you just bought it online. And it should have all the plugins here. I have these plugins on here. I probably need to update them, whatever. So. Let's say I want to install the Q10 and this and this, like I just bought all, let's say I bought all of these plugins, cool, and I want to get them active in Pro Tools, Logic, FL, whatever, hit install, then you might get this right here, updates are available, if you don't want to update the plugins, you don't have to, you can install them without updating, so you click install without updating. And you let it do what it do, and it's gonna download. It might ask you to put in your password on your computer as an administrator or whatever. You just put in your password and let it do what it do. So when it gets done, you just click OK. Once you click OK, put it on there. Then you can go up here to license, and you can manage the license, and then you can have. They're gonna default go to the cloud, but let's say you got a drive, you put them on drives, or you just leave them on your computer, and you just choose where you wanna send them, whatever plugin. So I hope this video helped you if you was having problems, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.